Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. We do have some news. So first we got some events running and we will take a closer look at these. But also we did get some information regarding the Outermost Crusade. It will come already this month and it will start on some servers, not on all. Server 1, 8, 10, 11, 21, 22, 25, 26, 29, 30, 35, 39, 41, 45, 48, 51, 53, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 63, 64 and 66. So these servers got their um, times for other events adjusted to be able to run these events very soon. Why are these so important? You will be able to get your medals or your cubes there. Um, you can always see Outermost Crusade locked and also here Outermost Crusade Galaxy Summit but Outermost Crusade still locked. Um, so these two medals will only be available through Outermost Crusade and the other medals here they are available through both. Um, that's why this is so important. It is some kind of PvP event, different from the Galaxy Summit event, where we can fight other commanders in other nebulas. So I'm very curious how that will be. Um, I was hoping that we will get some more yeah, input already this Wednesday, but it didn't come. So let's hope for next Wednesday that it will start. We do have another anti entropy order event. It seems like this is now replacing the wheel event. I didn't see the wheel anymore since the anti-entropy started. And as usual we do get some free pulls here. Um, free, free and also a special one free. But if we want to do more we have to spend money. There's no way to get these um, anti-entropy cards anywhere else. So um, you can get them either by clicking on the plus in the event. You have multiple orders there. You can also buy up to five for Corium. So they are free. If you have the Corium, you can get Corium also as player who does not spend any money. So these are five you can get every day. Um, the event runs a total of three days, meaning you can get 15 plus your free pulse pulls, but that's not enough to get this chest that gives you a guaranteed um, legendary flagship. Um, so if you want to spend, you would need to buy these. And does it make sense to spend money on that event? It is a very interesting question. We will take a look. I am going to spend money on that event for you and we will see what I get. From everything I know so far about this event, you can expect to get around one to two blueprints um, per pull in average, in average, that's important, plus very likely um, every 20 to 30 pulls, maybe one pole flagship, plus one flagship guaranteed every 30 pulls. So that would leave you with, um, let's say for 30 pulls, that would be like probably two flagships plus 30 blueprints. Two flagships are 100 plus 30, 130 blueprints. You will have to pay, um, you, you have to buy the majority of your orders here. There's another source in the specials under anti-entropy order, but these um, can only be bought one time. So if you would buy a total of 30 um, orders, you would pay around $30. So around $1 per order. So for $30 you will very likely get around 130 random blueprints. Let's take a look how that compares to the cheapest way to rank up your legendary flagship that would be buying the advanced federation credits. We do pay $5 for 1500 advanced credits. Then we can go to the trade center. So trade center blueprints and we can buy our blueprints directly here. So 10 blueprints are 
um, 600 federation credits. So meaning one blueprint is 60 federation credits. We do have 1,500 divided by 60, meaning you get 25 blueprints um, from this package. And now if we would say you buy this package up to get to $30, um, this was 5, this is 10, so that's 15. Um, let's say you spend it all this only once per week. I probably, yeah, that probably doesn't make sense. So let's say you pay $15 for a total of 3,900. So 3,900 divided by 60, that would be 65 blueprints for $15, so times two, you will get also around 130 blueprints. Um, but you can choose which blueprints you want. Yeah. Now, the interesting thing about this is it is random and, sorry, let's go back to special, and there are also other rewards you can get. So meaning, while in theory you will get around the same, you might get more here, you might get less here, and you cannot control it. And um, I will go on and I will buy some packages to show you what will happen. So I went all out for you and I got a total of 60 of these orders and we will now activate them all and see what we will get for them. So let's go to the special orders and start. We get, so for 10 we got 12, 13, 14, Oh, 16, 20, 21 blueprints. I have to write that down somewhere. So that's 21. Um, resources are, yeah, don't even look at that. We did get a little bit of XP, but for the amount of money, not really anything that would matter. So the next 10, 4, 8, 22, that's pretty good. We do get a lot of Odysseus. Um, which probably makes sense because it is at the moment the event limited one. So it seems like we get a much higher chance to get these. The question is, do we get just more or is it reducing the chance of getting the other blueprints? Now we have two, three, four, plus nine is 13, 16, 19. So that's close to 20 again. We can open our first chest we get a full Hades, so that is an additional 50 Hades blueprints. And we can open another. Okay, so that is so far the worst pull I had. Um, that's only 8 legendary um, blueprints. Very, very weak. And nothing really else that would compensate for that. Um, but that's the problem with RNG. <laughs> Okay, we got an Athena. Um, Athena, is, if you get a flagship, it's plus 50 blueprints. Athena would not be the flagship of my choice. And we got also only five blueprints, um, legendary ones, in addition to that. So the first three pulls were really, really good. The last two, very weak. Let's see if that changes in any way. Four, five, six, nine. No, it does not change. Um, very weak second row. We get another chest with 50 Artemis blueprints. So um, at least we got lucky. We got the Hades and the Artemis from the chest. Both are very good flagships. Um, the first three pulls, they were amazing. 21, 22 and 19 legendary um, blueprints. The last three was eight, five plus one flagships that I absolutely do not want, and nine again, um, were very weak ones. So overall, at the beginning, I was thinking, okay, I'm completely wrong. We do get like at least two blueprints per pull. What do we get? Or what did we get in total? Even let's count the Athena also in there. We got three flagships if we count uh, two chests with, so that's 150. Um, and 21, 22, 19, 8, 5, 9. That's a total sum of 20, uh, 234 blueprints. Um, 
that ended up worse than I was expecting because that's less than um, one blueprint per pull if we count that. I did a total of 30 pulls and I only got 234 random blueprints out of it. So what would I recommend you to do? If you want to spend money, ignore that event. Um, spend your money directly on Federation credits or on the packages for your flagship that you are interested in. It is much safer, much better value for the bucks you spend. Um, so under the weekly specials, you do have the advanced Federation credits. Go for these. Set say no, that's a very bad pack also. Or look under flagships if you want Hades blueprints. Buy directly the Hades pack. If you like Odysseus, even now here with this special event, um, buy it directly here in the Hero Returns. Um, you will also find other flagships from time to time here. Um, under special, we also can get the limited flagship. You can switch it between Cyclops and Artemis. Um, these are much better value. You do get the blueprints you need for even a cheaper price, at least based on the 60 pulls I did. Maybe if you do 2000 pulls or more, um, it will even out a little bit better. But um, based on the 60 pulls I just did, and that's a cost of over 50 bucks, um, I would say no, it is not worth it. So I hope this helped you to decide how and where to spend your money. Um, you know, I did like the wheel event. Um, I did like this kind of gambling. I really, really was always hoping and going for the resource chests you can get there. So um, I like this kind of little bit gambling in the game. But um, if you enjoy this gambling, go for it. Don't let me stop you. But if you're looking for the best value you can get for your money, then do not spend on that event. Spend your money on the, the direct um, under the specials for the blueprints or directly, um, sorry, for the Federation credits or directly for the blueprints that you are looking for. And um, yeah, with this, I will already end this video. I am looking forward to see the server versus server PvP. Camel promised it will come this month. So um, we already have uh showroom with the medals also um not sure if it will be somehow restricted to the agn area or not or if it will have restrictions for the power requirements camel didn't share any information about this but um i'm very curious and looking forward to see what we are getting and um with that as usual give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and then i see you all on the next video again